This is the kind of day it's been. Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I've got a load of rock in the dump trailer, and I'm headed out to fix a driveway. It's a little bit of an unusual situation with the way we're going to do this repair, but I'll explain all that once we're out there. First thing I got to do is get this load delivered and then pick up one more load, then I'll have to come back for the tractor. So let's get moving. All right, I just brought two loads, that's eight tons. Not very much for the size of this driveway, but there's a reason for that. And I'm gonna run home, get the other trailer, get the tractor switched over to the box blade and the bucket, and get it loaded up and get back over here, and hopefully we can get this done before we run out of daylight. Okay, as I set up here at the end of this driveway, you can see that there's really not much of a driveway left. It's just completely rutted all the way down. And on this side, which is a little bit downhill, everything that's washed out of here is pushed off to the side and humped up. So now water comes off and just sits here. Now, if you think about it, this is a long driveway. To fix this properly, I probably need 100 tons of rock and I might need a couple of pipes to put underneath it to get water to flow, or I would have to raise it enough that I could crown it and have the water run back off the other way, because we're right on the top of a hill. If this is the hill we're sitting on, this driveway is about six feet down from the crown of it. So you're gonna run water across that driveway all the time. I just stated that we need 100 tons of rock here, so why did I show up with 8 tons? And the answer is, I've been working with the property owner on a plan for some bigger projects here. It includes putting in a pond, it includes a new access to the road, the driveway is no longer going to be here, this is going to be a yard, and we're going to redo the whole thing. I've already removed three trees from here and ground out the stumps. He's come back through and removed a fence that used to be here, and we're working on a bigger plan. The problem with all that is it takes a little bit of time to do, and in the meantime, he still has to get in and out of his property. So this driveway needs a temporary fix, and there's no reason to spend $1,500 for him on you know 100 tons of rock and my time to do it to redo this driveway so that we can turn it into a yard later. So what we're gonna do is take off this high side that's stopping water from flowing, move it into the middle of the driveway, then I'm gonna put the rippers down and dig up the entire driveway, and grade it back out to where it's at least flat, and then I'm just gonna put a light dressing of rock on it. More than likely, when we're doing the new driveway, we will pull this rock back off. That's enough talking, let's get to digging this up.
as I edit this video, it's really weird looking at how the driveway shows up on camera because it looks fairly flat in this shot, but it's not at all. The ruts in the middle of it are at least 8 inches deep, and it's more pothole than flat ground. I was able to peel almost enough material off of this hump right here to fill in all the potholes. I could literally just go back and forth a bunch of times and this would look smoothed out as a temporary driveway, but those bottom of the potholes are hard and crusted and it would last for about one rain cycle. Well, we had a casualty of war. That is a brand new GoPro 10 crushed. We are close friends with the family that lives here and they were kind of trying to decide what to do because they didn't want to spend any money on this driveway and they really didn't want all that rock here that would just have to be removed. That's why I suggested that maybe I should just break the ground with the rippers the way you see me doing right now and then put in a minimum amount of rock to get them by until spring. The amount of rock I brought today cost $72, and I was only here working on this for a few hours, charging a basic minimum rate, so it's not going to cost them much at all, and I think this is going to serve the purpose to allow them to easily use their driveway through the winter. I was planning to have a bunch of up-close footage of this dirt turning over, but as you saw, I smashed my GoPro camera. At this point, I've ripped it all up and got everything loose, and now I'm going back through and spreading it and trying to even the ground out. The only area that I did not rip up is right next to the front door is a propane tank, and they don't know how deep that propane line is buried, so I never put the rippers down in that spot. It's not perfectly smooth, but I think it's good enough to start laying the rock on. A couple things that would make this easier. Obviously, number one would be a power rake on a skid steer, but we're not that far yet. But I think a land plane or a box blade with casters on it, either one would make this a little bit easier. But even something as simple as this, just smoothing out this dirt, is a skill that takes practice. It also takes patience to slow down and work that lever just a little bit more to fill in those low spots. But I'm gonna drive back and forth across it a couple times, then I'm gonna start dragging rock from this end down that way and see what we get.
So this started off, giant ruts in it, and a big mound on that side. There was not much rock left. It was almost dirt with some rock powder. And with just a little bit of rock, I was able to get a decent result that hopefully will last at least until spring and we can do something a little more permanent. I appreciate you taking time to watch. You should see more of our videos right here, and I'll see you next time.